What's crackin' lackin' folks? Welcome back to Neo 2 in the Twilight Mission. That's why our Kodama are the, I don't know, Dark Realm Kodamas. And speaking of, there's one hidden out there on top of the building. So I actually have to get over there. I think the shortest way is just to go up and down the ladder on the other side. That we saw here. And then we should be able to get onto that um, balcony. Ah, uh, not you, God. You have nothing better to do. Yep, yeah, you do your shooty. Wait, it's not here. Where was it? Wasn't it up there? On um, the ladder? Hmm. I am confused how you get up there. I think it was that ladder. But I think I dropped... Um, down to the bottom. Let's take a look again. Yeah, it was this one, and then... Oh my god, could you stop this? It's here, yeah. Oh my god, get lost. Yeah, it's here. Okay, now that <laughs> he's glitching over there, okay. I really only care for this Kodama. Glad you have been guided home. And I even got you. God. Stop this. I think on the rooftop here is really not the nicest. That's <laughs> so hard to see the movement of him. Like when he does this jump with his arm, it's already incredibly hard to see. Oh, is that the... That is probably the unlock to... Um, the door down there. Uh, I'm out of feeling again. And you're dead? Not quite. Now you're dead. We got a bunch of cores, but I mean, they're all trivial cores. Enki and stuff like that. We already had all of those, so the only thing we could do is kind of improve... Improve the the soul cores we already have, like at the level higher up. This one, imbue corruption on Rita, break and block. Break in general is, is good. Increases your break stat, increasing the amount of key damage you deal when attacking a blocking opponent. And this one just has more damage overall. Which is pretty nice. So here we can, I think, open the um, door now. Yeah, there's another chest. So we'll um, go for that chest as soon as we have opened the shortcut. And are you really the only two? Seems like a trap. Oh, 
I do like that I skilled this that the dash forward gives me this little fast attack. Okay, so that is also I do a light attack and then do I do a light attack and then well, is it? I guess this one isn't a combo. Okay, who do we have here? Um, another seething dragon. Let's give it a quick check. That one is one we do want more. I, in the meantime, we picked up so many weapons. This one has corruption. Yeah, so Amrita Urn, melee damage, and Midgard key consumption. These are. I think we already found the exact same one. And these aren't really the stats that are that important. Um, yeah, there's nothing more to do here. I really just wanted to get the Kodama. So we're gonna go to that shrine on the inside now. Um, what's that get me right now? And then, um, you stop it. Yeah, yeah, you poisoned me. It's good. My god. Could you stop? Oh yeah, I'm out of stamina because, I don't know. Keep digging deeper and deeper. Uncover those shiny stones. Are shining. Okay, now, whatever, whatever. Don't die. Thank you. And then we are at the shrine. Next up! Yes, yes, they're all whatever. Next up, the boss room here. And I'm excited to see what we find. We are gonna fight with the Kusarigama. <laughs> Wait, that guy's dead now? Interesting. So he didn't come back once we cleared the uh, dark realm. Very nice, very nice. So drop down here. And um, water buff probably. Let's just put on the water buff. If it's this... Wait, what? The door seems to be locked? So who got the key? Am I burning too? Jesus Christ. Hmm. Yeah, we can actually drop down here, get the buff. So who has the key? I mean, there's only... Like, one place left, right? That I haven't ex explored. Wait, did the... The hammer do not respawn also when we... Removed... The dark run. Did I not open this chest? Hmm. I actually, I actually thought I did um, open that chest, but I guess not. Yeah, wrecked. I mean, I'll take it. Oh, there's the four. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I see now the error of my ways. <laughs> we will again pre buff with water. And assume that that is an element that will be useful for us. <laughs> All right, you the same? Yes.
Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. So the water didn't seem to do that much. We can try... Well, we always can try poison. Because we are kind of spec for poison as well. And then we can, in the beginning... Well, we just um, do poison and, and see if... The poison isn't very strong to begin with. And we just see where we go with that. And yeah, then... Can generally be pretty aggressive, if I remember. Oh, come on, I did it too early. So poison also doesn't seem to be very useful. I'm gonna apply our you know poisons do I even have that um equipped anymore let me see I have the paralysis no not wounds or wrong button um so of course so well I didn't even see which one So on this one we have, okay, yeah, still the toxic slime and then the um, paral paralysis. So we're gonna go with poison one more time. See how that goes. We can try out paralysis um, if that is of any use. And then otherwise, I guess we just have to beat him. That didn't hit, for real. I mean, I'm literally dying only to this one thing three times because I mistimed it and this now because he just triggered it so close to me. He actually just swung into me. Okay, poison completely immune. Water did do tiny, tiny bit. I don't think it's really worth it. Let's look at the numbers again. Well, let's look at... Um, okay, I buffed the wrong weapon. Cool. Oh, that's fire, actually. And, uh, fire is out of trash. Who would have thunk it? I'm dead. <laughs> oh my. 
will this be an episode of dying to literally the exact same attack over and over and over? Let's ready you to I want to see what lightning does. I can remove fire completely. Um two lightning and one divigorate. See how the divigorate does. I mean divigorate is kinda like um you shouldn't really have to use it because it means you got hit or you plan on getting hit. But sure. Let's try the divigorate. Which lowers the attack power, so it's kinda you know, we'll see. It's kinda like if I get hit, it's not as bad. But I really don't want to get hit to begin with. So we're gonna buff with lightning. And then we start with immediate to vigorate. Lightning does absolutely nothing as well. Me? Finally. That insta damage. No bueno. Ah, oh, too early every single time. All right, let's go. Go to the pool and then fight. I do not think it will make a difference, but we will see. Oh my god, almost.
My god, you spammy little bitch. Didn't even do that before. Teleport and do. <laughs> and over time, yeah, the the healing actually stacks up. I don't know why I assume. He was low on... Did you stop that? Alright, let's see. Can we beat him? A little more, hopefully, health. Regain. Oh, you're... You out of stamina? Oh, of course. Is this the end? Yes! It is the end. Okay. As we can see... The loot was not really that impressive for slugging our way through all the Enki and the Hammer dudes and through a level that we just did before and a boss that we also just fought before. The only difference was he had much more HP and I feel he did hurt a lot more. Granted, we do get these guaranteed materials, but I don't... No, they're that important, right? Especially if you're just playing through the game the first time. The crafting and smithing doesn't really matter too much. You'll always find uh, good weapons. Um, you rarely will smith your own weapons. And I think some of the improvements might use these materials. But if you really need one or two, you can always do these missions. And next, I picked one of the optional missions, right? Not continuing with... The main mission, picking a mission that is optional, and we encountered these nice friends. And once we dealt meticulously one by one with our friends, uh, not to aggro the whole swarm, we met this 
lovely mini boss. And once we cleared literally the entirety of this little map, we had this guy left. Which we couldn't run past because we had to defeat both of them to access the boss arena. Now we made it through this rather annoying piece of map, very short. Who would we find? Who do we get to fight? And yes. Well, the disappointment was pretty large to find the same boss literally right after we already fought him. Just um, in, again, more HP, hurts more, etc, etc. So, I did quit the mission, and going forward, I probably just won't do any optional or Twilight missions again. We will just focus on the main story, where we will actually find new areas, hopefully, hopefully new enemies, and get to fight new bosses. I hope to see you next time when we continue the main story, and hopefully have fun there. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.